So let's say if this is the area of interest. Okay. So the distance from here to here will be your Z. Okay. And then the area centroid will be in the center, exactly at the center. You project this outwards. This will be your Z bar. Okay. So now we are interested in the first moment of area about the y axis. Yes or no? Not about the z and about the, I'll, I'll write the same level. So this is qy. Okay. So this is equal to a z bar. Okay, and I'll, 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 I'll copy the text over. I only need to change some terms. Okay, I only need to change. Uh, this is not a good idea. Uh, undo. I think I paste down here. Is this a good idea? No, it's crappy. So the first moment of area. will be about the y-axis okay, when the force is applied uh, in the by direction. Okay. And if this distance, right, if this distance, okay, I'm going to draw another distance. If this distance from here to here is equal to 2c, okay, I just call it 2c. Okay. So when there's a case, the, uh, the, if there's a case, the orientation, so same thing, okay, the thickness. Orientation is perpendicular to BZ. So therefore, T is equal to what? Two C. Okay. T is equal to two C. Okay. So this is the first uh moment of area okay this is about the first moment now let's look about let's look about at the second moment of area okay second moment of area so if we look at the second moment of area okay if we look at the second moment of area, so i'm going to I'm going to copy the same diagram. I'm still going to get the same uh, formula. So, sir, I have a quick question for you. Yes. Yeah, there's a there's a question in the comment as well, which is kind of relative. Um, I've been pondering, so when you're looking to get the first moment of area in the y direction, it's simply because it's along the centroid axis that, or centroid axis that you're looking to evaluate, is that correct? Okay, so, so if it's Vy, that is the shaded area of interest. Right. So it has to be perpendicular to the shearing area of interest? the Q value. Both area of interest are the same is how the variable is shifting. One is yeah, I'm looking, 
See the way okay. that I visualize okay, it. Okay, listen, listen. The, 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 if it is in VY, right, that the B is the width, right? right. Yep. If it's VZ, the thickness is the 2C. Understood. But the Q is relative to the central axis. axis. Yes. Okay. So this is Q based on QZ. Right. This is based on QY. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, I did not understand your question. That's why I'm uh, hesitant to answer. Okay. <laughs> no, it's fair. I barely understood what I was asking as well. So thank you. Okay. So now uh, we want to look at the second moment of area. Okay. The second moment of area, which is IZZ. Okay, so let me write out the general formula for second. So second mole of area I is equal to width multiplied by depth cube d by by twelve. Okay, and then some. Uh, so which is the width when I was young? Okay. Which is the width and which is the depth it has nothing to do with English. <laughs> I, I when I was young, when I was in university, I did my studies in the UK, right? So when they put in this formula, width and depth, so we always assume that left to right is the width, up to down is the depth. Okay, and it was wrong. <laughs> my prof did not tell me. I was so annoyed. Okay. So when is it a width? The width is parallel to the IZZ or, or Z axis. Okay, that's the width. Okay. And why z axis? Because we are interested in what? I z z, the second moment of area about the z z axis. Okay. The depth, so this is the depth. The depth is perpendicular to the uh, z axis. Okay, so for this case, we know that this is the this height over here is equal to two c, right? So i z z is equal. So the width is b multiplied by uh, two c to the power three divided by two. Okay, so this is equal to B, uh, two to the power of three is eight. B C cube over twelve, and this is equal to uh two third B C cube. Okay. Now, if the force is again, I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, I'm going to flip it across. I'm going to do this diagram over here. So I want you to really see the difference because I've been teaching this for 15 years now, okay? Every time the same mistake. Some of you say, might be your explanation, Eugene. Okay? <laughs> so if you see for this case, right, we are interested in I, Y, Y now. So y y axis. So this axis now parallel, right? Parallel to the axis. So this is now the width and perpendicular to the y y axis, right? So this is perpendicular to the y y axis, right? Now this is the depth. So applying to the same formula, the width is two c, and the depth is uh, b cube, right? 
So because the distance from here to here is equal to B, so this is equal to 2 uh, B cube C over 12 is equal to B cube C over 6. Okay. So you can you can see the difference. Basically, the depth is so the, the, the axis of interest is what on, on the right hand side is your what? I Y Y. So it, it, it shift, okay. So be very, very uh careful with this. Uh sir, is it safe to assume that the width is always going to be perpendicular to the force applied? Yes, you can also say that also. Okay, right? thank you. You can also look at it in the terms of the yy, okay? Or you can also say relative to the bz. Is, 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 the outcome will be the same, which is good news, okay? Which is good news, okay? So this is the part that a lot of students make mistakes and get confused. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm going really, really slow, okay? This is the part that uh, a lot of students can get really, really confused and frustrated. And I don't want you all to have that frustration. Okay, that is my that is my last uh, last thing I want to do to you. Okay, then what we are going to do next is there are about four more rules to apply, and I realize that you guys have been listening to my voice for one and a half hours. Let's get a break now, and we come back at ten forty five. Okay, and today I think the class will go up to twelve fifteen to twelve thirty. Okay, depending on. The time I'm finished. So if you have appointment, tell them that you'll be late. Okay. I'm gonna stop here. We come back at 10 45. Okay. Hey, sir, quick question. What does the 12 represent um, in the I equation? 